We are going to take a look at how to trap focus in dialogues and forms and so on with Angular CDK. As always, we have linked the StackBlitz demo and the written tutorial for this in the description below. So first, let's take a look at our demo. So we'll go to the developer.fireplysemantics.com and we'll type in CDK trap, open that up and let's go down to our demo here. Open up the demo. And uh, I'm just going to open a new window just so we can see it more clearly. So what we see here is that if we click outside the trap and we hit tab, we first go to the uh, button three. And then if we tab around, we see that the focus remains trapped within this section. And if we go to this one down here and hit tab, we see that if we hit tab again, we don't go to the first button, we go to button three. And that is because this uses an additional directive from Angular CDK to trap focus first on button three. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at how this is done now. So the first thing we need to do is obviously install Angular CDK. And you can see that we've added that to our dependencies down here. And then we have to add the A11Y module. And so you can see that we have imported it here and we've put it in our imports declaration here within the app module. And the only thing left to do now is to add a CDK trap focus to our markup. So you can see here we have this first section that we showed you in the demo and it has the CDK trap focus direct directive on it. And what that does is it keeps the focus on these buttons when we're inside this section. Now in the next one, we see that we have both the CDK trap focus and CDK focus region start. So if you remember when we tabbed into this, we first hit this button five and then afterwards we went to button three. And if we keep hitting tab, it'll only um, focus these three buttons because we've set CDK focus region start to button three. And so that's all we needed to do to trap focus. And let's just take a look at our demo again. And so we see that, you know, if we click in this first section and we keep hitting tab, focus stays inside that section. And if we go to this section and click on button one and tab through, since we added the additional directive to button three, the focus only circulates between these three buttons. And that's it. There are more directives within Angular CDK for other use cases. And we're gonna go ahead and link that uh, section of the CDK documentation in the description as well. So if you wanna play around with the demo and those directives, you can uh, do that on your own leisure. I hope you enjoyed this demo and uh, have a wonderful day.